What is going on guys and welcome back and for today's video we're going to try to diagnose what's wrong with the Accord. Um, so last night I actually drove out to Nevada to go hang out with the homie from Lewis and his girlfriend Maddie. I live in SoCal so Nevada and Las Vegas is like four hours away from us. Drove it there perfectly fine. Drove it back home. Halfway back home uh, the car started making a loud like knocking noise. Um, it sounded like it's coming from the engine, but after doing a little bit more research when I got home last night, um, it sounds like it might be either the uh, uh, the pulley or the uh, timing belt actuator or tension, whatever they call it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get it checked out today. I'll show you guys what it sounds like because it sounds really bad. And it really freaked me out last night because I thought like it was a motor or something worse, but hopefully not that bad. I'm, I'm hoping for the best today. <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and let's get started. So, open up the hood. It sounds like it's coming from in here somewhere. So I'll go ahead and set the camera down so you guys can see where it's coming from. So, as you guys can see, it sounds terrible. I don't like that noise. I hate when anything mechanically go wrong with my car just because I've had this car for so long that I've never had an issue mechanically wise. So these are kind of the very first times where I'm dealing with something mechanically maybe wrong. Um, I've always had something either break because obviously the car, uh, the car is lowered. So things tend to break, but as of right now, I'm not sure exactly what, that's, what that noise is. Uh, I don't even think I should be driving it to be honest. I drove it home perfectly fine there's no check engine lights on um and then on top of that uh, the car doesn't seem to lag at all i mean i still have full power i was giving a throttle yesterday on the way home and it pulls perfectly fine it's just it's making that weird knocking noise which like i said it does not sound good at all um but after like i said when we pulled over we did some research kind of assumed a couple things um it looks safe to drive so i drove it home another like two hours home got home parked it um, and then this morning this is the first time I turned it on so everything seems to be still working pretty fine cars mechanic or cars you know not giving me any issues besides that that dead start at the beginning um, I think that's actually my battery uh, terminal because the the negatives loose on there which is that's another thing I gotta get fixed but everything like I said it seems to be working perfectly fine I'm hoping it's uh it's just that uh, timing belt or the uh, what is it the pulley because um, that seems like it'll be an easier fix than anything else, but I'll let you guys know Alrighty guys, so we actually dropped off the car. It turns out it was the timing belt So I'm super excited that it was just something as simple as that and nothing to do with the motor Because if it was something with the motor then that would have sucked because I know That sounds expensive. Um, but like I said nothing mechanic has ever gone wrong with that car I've had it for the past six years now. It's the first time something's ever failed on it So I'm just glad that they're gonna be able to fix it and I should have my car within the next couple days uh, but before we end off today's videos, guys, there is something that I have to announce, something that I've been working on for the past couple weeks, and I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be excited because it involves me being able to post consistently on YouTube and making sure that you guys have content that uh, you can see and I have content that I can post because making videos like this sometimes gets a little bit difficult. Like I said, I've been, I've been working on this for quite a while now, and it's always been just an idea in the back of my head. But lately, I've just had the opportunity to just kind of go, go on it. And I realized that it's either now or never for me to do this. Because if I don't do it now, I feel like I'm never going to do it. And like I said, it just can be beneficial to both uh, the people watching and me being able to post on YouTube. But for those of you guys wondering what it is, instead of talking about it, let me go ahead and show you guys. what is going on guys and welcome to the first episode of six spoke studios yes right a court empire is starting the podcast and for today's episode we're going to be discussing what you can pretty much expect out of this hopefully you guys enjoy this episode and let's get started Alrighty guys, so before we get started with today's episode, let me give you guys a quick little update on the Accord. I did get it back a couple of days ago. Turns out it was the timing bell, so I got that fixed. 
But of course, like everything else, whenever they're fixing my car, they find other things that's wrong with it. Turns out my radio was leaking, so I had to get that changed out as well. And then my motor mounts have gone bad. So I got all that fixed, and it did basically cost me my entire stimmy. So shout out to uh, Mr. Biden out there because he helped me get my car fixed. <laughs> other than that, guys, uh, Six Spoke Studio. So what is Six Spoke Studio? What's it going to be about? And where did I get the idea from? So I've actually been thinking about this for a long time now. I've always wanted to do a podcast and tell stories. It wasn't until recently that I kind of just pushed myself and told me to just do it because, you know, I don't really have much to lose with starting a podcast and I think it'd be a lot of fun. Um, but basically, um, it took a lot of planning. So I had to do a lot of research, buy new equipment, uh, learn how to do this, learn how to use that. And it took me a while to get everything together. I've been working on this for the past like month and a half now. And this is like one of my first test runs uh, before I upload my very first episode next week. So you guys are actually getting a sneak peek of what it's going to be like. Um, I did have to buy uh, all this new equipment, like I said. So I had to buy a microphone. I had to buy adapters for my computer. Um, had to learn how to use like the Elgato cam link. So if you guys are ever interested in seeing how that process went out, I'll make a video of it one day. So if you guys are ever interested in starting your own podcast, then you guys kind of know what route to take. Um, and then Six Spoke Studios is basically what I'm going to be naming it. Uh, six, and the reason why I'm naming it that is because I actually have six close friends. There are six philosophies I live by, and there are six things that I enjoy doing. So that's why I'm going to be calling it Six Spoke Studio. And then on top of that, I'm going to be running this for the next six months. Uh, I, one new video or one new podcast every week for the next six months, which means there's going to be 24 new episodes dropping on this channel. And that's going to be crazy, guys, because I don't think I've ever been that consistent where I would drop that much in that amount of time. I mean, even on the Court Empire, when I was making videos on my car, I think the most I ever went it was like three or four months consistently before I ended up taking like small breaks here and there. So six months is going to be a lot. And I'm super excited. And I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. Um, but what is it going to consist about? So basically, I'm going to be talking about a lot about car builds. So hopefully later on, we're going to have some guest stars talking about their builds and be talking about my build and then kind of just talking about other people's cars in general. Um, I also want to talk about uh, other things just than cars. So later it's going to transition into like life stories, life challenges. Uh, things that I kind of personally want to talk about and document. And then later on, too, I want to bring a couple of my close friends and just kind of talk to them, and, you know, revisit some of the some of the old stories that we share, because I have a lot of old, a lot of stories that, you know, I just could talk on and on and on and on about. And I know I have a lot of friends that I have that have a lot of stories. So it's just going to be something that I'm going to be able to use as a platform to document all these stories and hopefully one day be able to look back and kind of reflect on these. And like I said, I'm just super excited. I've already gone through a couple of my friends and they're all more than willing to come on the on the uh, podcast and talk about it as well. And then later on, too, I'm going to be talking about some of the most common questions and things that I get asked about. So one of the biggest things that you guys ask me is like cameras and, you know, how to get started with this, how to get started with that. I've actually became a pretty good close friends with some of you guys, especially on Instagram, because you guys are always wondering about my pictures. You guys are wondering, like, what equipment I should use, what I should do for that. And I'm going to make a little series on that as well. So if you guys are ever interested in starting your own YouTube channel, your own podcast or, you know, just becoming better on social media and uploading uh pictures and stuff you know we'll talk about the cameras that you can use and you know what you can partner up with what or like what softwares to use so you know this is just basically going to be a, a place for you guys to come to and kind of learn more about you know being more influential on social media and becoming some or becoming an individual that that has a voice because that's that's the cool thing about youtube is it gave me a voice and it gave me a lot of uh it gave me a place to basically come and kind of talk and like say my thoughts out loud is basically what i'm trying to say and like I said, it's just going to be cool to get kind of interact with you guys more often now, especially with this podcast, because like I said, this, this podcast is going to be basically just interacting with you guys. And if you guys have anything else you want to talk about, you know, let me know in the comments down below. We'll get it work and we'll make a podcast or make a video on it as well. And we're also going to be going and doing a couple of giveaways on this channel. So if why is my Siri going off? <laughs> I just realized it's literally just copied everything I just said right now. Um, anyways, besides the point, I'm also going to be doing a couple of giveaways later on in the channel. I did get a couple of sponsors that are willing to kind of partner up and kind of send you guys some free stuff. So if you guys are interested in winning some cool stuff later on, make sure to stay tuned and hit that subscribe button. But yeah, guys, who, who knows where this podcast is going to go? Like I said, I'm going to be consistent for the next six months. So 24 new episodes. 
um where it's going to go eventually i have no idea but that's the beauty of it is it can go anywhere and that's what i'm more than excited about that it's just going to give me something else to kind of look forward to every day now because you know in in my life personally too i i get bored very easily and if i'm not doing something then I get very bored. So, you know, this is something I've been working on for the past month and a half and it's taken up literally every day for the past six months. Or I'm sorry, for the past month and a half. You know, I've been coming home right after work, looking at videos, testing out all this equipment. For the past like two weeks now, I've been going to sleep like super late. I've been going to sleep like at 2 a.m. Just trying to learn how to use all this stuff waking back up at eight, nine, going to work and then coming home and doing the same thing all over again. So like I said, it's just something that's pretty cool because it gives me something to do and it gives you guys something to listen to or, you know, watch on your free time. Each podcast is only going to be like 10 to 15 minutes long anyways. Um, later on in my transition is something longer, especially when we have guest people over. Who knows? Those episodes might push over and then the half hour mark. That's what I'm probably thinking. <laughs> And then, yeah, guys, check out the studio lighting we got in the background. As you guys can see, I got all my Joker posters in the back. I'm a huge Joker fan. Um, Hugh Ledger is probably one of my one of my favorite actors that played the Joker, followed by uh, Jared Leto and then Joaquin Phoenix. You know, uh, I think all of them had unique kind of characteristics to add to the Joker character. Um, but overall, I, I, don't, I don't see any or any other actor beating uh, Hugh Ledger. And, you know, sadly, he passed away before he can see his own movie. But uh, I think it's pretty cool that uh, a lot of other of these uh, Jokers have followed or actors have followed in his steps somewhat. Um, even like uh, I remember reading an article where they were talking about how Heath Ledger actually uh, locked himself in a hotel room before his big gig. Same thing. I heard the similar thing with jo or not Joaquin Phoenix, um, Jared Leto. Jared Leto was super excited to play a Joker that he actually locked himself in a hotel, too. I believe I read an article about that. And, you know, some of the people on set. From what I remember reading some of these articles, they were actually pretty terrified of Jared Leto because sometimes they didn't know when he was or wasn't in character. But yeah, guys, like I said, I'm super hyped for this podcast. I'm going to be uh, releasing the first full video next week. So that video is actually consists of me breaking down the Accord, basically talking about everything that I've done to it, you know, how everything came to be. Because the Accord itself, it's a pretty crazy story. And just to give you guys a little sneak peek. Uh, everything I have on the Accord right now, I've actually, I don't think I've ever paid full price. And you guys will hear more about that because it's just crazy, you know, how I got all these parts and how I got everything for that car. And it was all either like almost free or at a discounted price. I don't think I've ever paid full price for anything on that car, which is pretty crazy. But like I said, that's going to be for next week's episode. So if you guys are excited for that, you know, make sure to cop drop a comment down below. And like I said, anything else you guys ever want to hear later on, make sure to drop it down below. Uh, message me on Instagram as well, at Accord underscore Empire. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to conclude the first like pre-podcast episode. I just want to give you guys kind of a sneak peek of what's to come. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this because I know I will. Um, so anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys next week.